Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. This is the second part of creating the master detail detail form. So we've got our report. If I click on one of these, I go to the master detail detail. So we have student data and related attendances to workshops and related evaluations done by this student. So what I want to do is make these report sections a little more interactive and useful. If necessary, if I'm looking at this, I might want to be able to jump to a specific evaluation so I could look at the detail section for what Barbara Cry uh, did on an evaluation of Carrie Melendris. So I'm going to edit this page and I'm going to collapse students and I want to expand and work with evaluation so I'm going to double click on evaluation and I want to add a column link this means based on the value shown on this report we will jump to a related record in another page of the application so I'm coming down to column link and I will leave it displaying the actual evaluation ID. I could, if you notice as I move across here, I could pick icons rather than showing the value, but I'm going to display the actual number. The target is a page in this application and I need to find that page and so it will jump to evaluations and uh, this evaluations 30 is the report, 31 is the master detail form because we're going to go straight to a specific master uh, record for an evaluation. Now here we have to designate wh what item in that form we want to find a match for based on the value shown in this form. So the name here is when we're looking at the target object or page items and I want to pick eval ID and then for the value currently displayed I want to pick the current display of or the the link that we're going to click on which is evaluation ID. Then I save this change, apply the changes to the report as a whole and run that and I now have a link. So when I want to look in detail at how Barbara Cry evaluated Sarah Davis I can click this link and it takes me to the specific evaluation where Barbara evaluated Sarah Davis and I see the detail of the items that were scored by Barbara for Sarah. Now I can't use the breadcrumb to go immediately back. I have to use the back arrow and I want to do something similar here for attendances so I will edit this page, collapse students, expand attendances and I want to be able to jump to a specific workshop and see the detail of students who attended that workshop. So I'm going to double click on a workshop ID. Again I can uh, set the column link. I'll continue to show the workshop ID. I want it to jump to that particular master detail which I select uh, 41 in my case. Page numbers will vary. Now what's the target page item? it's going to be the workshop ID and then what's the value in the current display it's going to be the foreign key work attendance workshop ID so I go ahead and apply that change and apply again at the report level and run that and I now have a link where I can click the workshop ID it takes me in and shows me that the uh, workshop one is effective leadership and in fact while I'm here I'm going to edit this and I'm going to display that primary key as display only. In development I really like to see those primary keys so we see the matching one. Whoop, but I lost my oh, I lost my uh, I'll have to come back here to the application I lost my back arrow 
and I need to come down to this uh, the master detail here. So when I run this, again, I could jump to the link and it shows me workshop ID 3 is active listening. The last thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and just, just hide student ID and I want to show the name of the workshop. So I'll edit this and collapse students and work with the student attendances report area. I want to hide student ID, so I'll double click on that and say show column no. And apply that change. Now I want to add a column that's not in the uh, actual table that this report is based on. So I need to modify my query definition. So I click on query definition and I need to add a column and I want to add a related column in workshops and I just want to add the workshop name. I now click on next and the connection between the workshop data and the uh, attendance workshop table is based on the primary key and the foreign key and that's all properly detected by Apex. So now I apply this change and I run this and I now see the name of the workshop alongside the link if I want to see the master detail for that workshop. While I'm here I want to do one other thing which is I hid and I actually have it displayed down here but I'm going to display the primary key value up above in the master section. So it's there it's just by default hidden and I'll do display only and run that and then I can see that this is the primary key for Barbara Cry. There are other things that I want to do to make this application more user friendly but I'll do that in subsequent videos. I'll spend at least one more video adding some nice features. Before I finish this video though I need to go to the home page and I need to add a button that opens that information for that uh, master detail detail. So I will right click and add a page item button and that's going to be student information and I'll accept the sequence and I want it to redirect to the application page and that's going to be uh, the student report before you go to the master detail and I can create that button, run that, and I now can jump to that master detail detail using that button.